Good morning, everybody. This is Chad Musgrove of ProAd Insight, and uh, you might have noticed in this video right now that the, the voice is down a little bit, and that's because it's early in the morning on a Saturday morning, and uh, my walls are thin, and I didn't want to wake up the neighbors. So anyways, uh, this is going to be a tutorial on how to properly install the infold theme, set up a child theme, and uh, get this going. Uh, properly so that you can you know you won't lose any changes down the road I know people out there sometimes set up the theme and make their changes in the style sheet and then when there's an update they end up um, losing all those changes I've done that before when I first started out in WordPress so I'm going to show you how to set up infold theme um, the reason I pick infold is because it's one of my favorite themes on theme for us and um, I have used other themes actually the on your screen right now this is not the infold theme it's another theme that I've used for my own site but uh, I really really love infold and I'll show you a couple of the ones that I've used in there so um, actually I'll go ahead and just show you a couple sites I've built with the infold theme so this is one I just recently finished I uh, just got it launched and actually this is a little slideshow here at the beginning um, using the layer slider that comes built into uh, the infold theme so yeah this is a site I built and I somewhere on my site I've got a video um, portfolio entry showing you the old site and the new site and just the amazing things I was able to do with infold so I love the call outs and the contacts and things like that um, just that everything on infold is great so I highly recommend it I think his name is Creasy I'm not, sorry if I mispronounced that um, it's a very very uh, good theme and you can do a lot of things with it so here's one theme uh, this is another site I built with it same theme you know slideshows I'm a big fan of these moving slideshows sometimes I do a static slide show which is you know just for alignment at the top and you'll see that in one of these samples um, but yeah you just so many versatile things you can do exact same thing but it just comes out looking a little bit different you can use different features of it um, and uh, yeah so love the infold theme so that's why this tutorial is about it um, this slideshow also comes flying in this is a full width slideshow I set up for this client um, so as you can see here I mean each one of these even though it's essentially the same layout uh, they your site can look completely different so got contact forms on the side on this one social media in the bottom is the focus here whereas over here that wasn't the focus on the bottom I mean there's just a lot of things you can do so and then this is the last one and this actually is built using um, not using the theme layout because I needed this to line up perfectly and that's kind of tough sometimes to do with CSS so I did this using layer slider but just didn't activate it it just you could line up everything exactly as you want and it's still words um, that Google can read and the layer slider still uses you can apply CSS to it or you can apply HTML code so uh, that's a little introduction. These are four themes I've built using the infold theme. Uh, once again, one of my favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into this tutorial and show you how it is that you can, um, how it is that you can you set or how you should set this up uh, to, so you don't lose any of your changes down the road. So once again, infold theme. And before we begin, I highly recommend you download. The, it's called Microsoft Expression Web. It's this program right here, and it is a. It's got a great built-in FTP client. It's 100% free. You can use it to publish files, and I use it primarily. You'll see I've got one set up. This is a different account, a uh, different website, but I've got one set up with the child theme already in here, and I use it to you know make changes to my CSS, and then I can. Um, upload them directly to my server it's really really easy that way and I'll show you later in these tutorials how it is that you can um, how it is that you can use the Microsoft Expression web in conjunction with the inspecting elements to figure out which pieces of code within the info theme to edit because there will come a time where you're going to want to do something that the theme just doesn't allow you to do and everything is like that and so you can really you can edit the code as deep as you want I've done it pretty extensively on other websites so I'll show you how to use this in conjunction with the inspect element on um, on WordPress so uh, without further ado I'm gonna jump right into it go get yourself Microsoft Expression Web you can just download it um, there will be a link in my actually I'm not even gonna show you how to do that because it's pretty self-explanatory uh, you can I, I lied here it is download Expression Web for 100% free and 
you have an FTP client and an easy text editor uh, that tracks your changes. And I'll show you some more advantages to that one later over something like, uh, say, FileZilla, especially if you're new to coding. So that's Expression Web 4. Um, there will be a link to the Enfold theme down in my in the links of the, the text for this video on the website. So you'll be able to get it there. Um, and you can see right now, this is the next site I'm going to be using. So um, we'll jump right into it, actually. Let me get rid of this. I like to close everything I'm not using. And so we will jump right into this and uh, get, I'll show you how to install the theme. So stand by for one moment while I hit pause. And actually, you know, I'm going to end this video here and then the introduction video. And then I'll do another video for the actual downloading of the theme.